Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you one of the trading plans uh, me and uh, our subscribers to the newsletter have been following. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, say that this uh, trading plan videos will change a bit. Uh, what is going to change? First of all, I'm going to show you all the trading plans uh, included in the newsletter for uh, the past days or for the past week, uh, depending uh, what is the um, plan about. Is it a long term or a short term one? Uh, but I'm going to show you the daily time frame uh, based on which we made uh, some of the initial uh, planning and uh, in the newsletter itself we go deeper on the lower time frames in order to find uh, better spots to enter. Uh, I'll pick one of those plans and uh, make a full uh, multiple time frame analysis on it for you and uh, live signups will be shared on it in our free telegram channel. If you want to uh, know more about the other plans and uh, how I see it on the other time frames, you can subscribe to our newsletter. Now let's get started. Uh, the first plan we've been looking at for the past week actually and now the beginning of this one is a trading plan on the USD Japanese yen currency pair. As you can see, this is the daily time frame. And uh, the most important thing, I think we've been following uh, the plan from uh, actually somewhere here if I'm not mistaken, yeah, somewhere there. Uh, the idea behind this plan is that, as you can see, uh, we are having a strong uptrend on this pair, on the daily graph. And uh, I believe that this uptrend can continue all the way up to this resistance area up here, uh, where you can see we had um, sort of a range uh, being formed before this huge downtrend wave started, which ended uh, somewhere here at the 107.57 level. Uh, you can see that just below this level, once again, we have this uh, box, this range. So this was the support area from where the new uptrend so far started. Uh, the idea behind this plan is to exploit uh, this uptrend channel and to look for uh, possible entries on the lower time frames like H4 and of course maybe even lower like M30 or M15. Uh, now I'll get back to this plan as I am going to make uh, multiple time frame analysis on it but I just want to show you uh, the other long term plan we've been following uh, with our subscribers for the last week. Uh, it is on the NSD USD currency pair. Uh, we started following this plan when the price was somewhere here. Uh, again, this is the daily graph. Uh, you can see that the pair is uh, in a range formation. Uh, here we were at the top of this range, at the resistance area. And uh, our plan was to sell the pair until this support area, but also carefully watching this level. The, actually, this is the 67.95 level. Let me just fix it. You can see that uh, last week we had some opportunities to uh, make some trades. Uh, we actually did with our subscribers. Uh, although the price didn't reach to the support area, uh, we had a good opportunity to sell uh, here in this wave on the lower time frames, especially. Uh, the price after that retraced back to that resistance and we keep following the plan uh, because I expect it to once again go down but uh, it's good to make a multiple time frame analysis. Now uh, another plan I shared today with our subscribers was this I usually uh, tend to add at least one short term trading plan in the newsletter. Uh, if the plan doesn't work, I add a new one on the next day. Uh, this trading plan is usually made on the H1 time frame and uh, we tend to look for uh, short term intraday opportunities on the M5 time frame. Now this was the plan I added today. Uh, you can see this is the EuroCAD currency pair H1. Uh, this is an H4 resistance area which the price reached. You can see how strong the reaction was from this area here uh, and also even uh, 
uh, here and here. Uh, those are the two spots, although the price went above it, it quickly retraced back below and made a nice swing down. Now, I was expecting the same thing here. Uh, I shared the plan when the price was somewhere here in this area. Uh, you can see that uh, the price continued up, but it is retracing back down. Uh, so I will have to update this plan, but uh, I believe we still have potential on it and uh, we'll we'll most likely uh, continue following it with our subscribers, especially if the price uh, goes back below this resistance area. So let's go back to the uh, plan that we are going to look with you today, uh, the USD Japanese Yen. Now, we can see where the uptrend started on the daily graph down here. Uh, we had a wave up, then a short correction to here, uh, from where the price bounced, made a nice swing up here and for now it has been ranging for the past few days. Uh, this range actually give us some opportunities. Uh, first of all, I want to say that we are closely looking here that uh, if uh, the bottom of this range is broken, we might see a, a downtrend uh, continuing all the way to the trend line uh, before the new uptrend wave starts. So. Uh, this can be a place to look for entries. Uh, let's go to the H4. I'm just gonna uh, delete some of the stuff I drew so it's easier for you to, uh, to see what we are doing here. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, the first potential entry, although we missed it because I was not following that pair at the time, was over here after this uh, sort of consolidation on the H4 and the top being broken. You can see uh, the price made a nice wave up, getting close to this, uh, to the uptrend line. And from there, we had a correction down to here, as you can see. And uh, so far, the price has been uh, kind of uh, ranging or consolidating between this uh, top here and this bottom, although uh, it hasn't been reached yet. Uh, yesterday, we, as we were expecting to see a break actually of uh, this consolidation, you can see how um, the Blingers uh, squeezed the price uh, and uh, I was going to look for possible entries uh, when this consolidation is broken or if the bottom was broken to uh, wait for the uh, pair to reach down here to the uh, to the trend line, uh, the uptrend line of the uh, daily trend channel and to look for a bounce and possible buy entry. Uh, we saw a break of the top of this consolidation but it was a very strong break and I decided that here it's a bit riskier. I also told that to the subscribers. It's a bit riskier to enter here, although uh, this previous top here was broken. But uh, if we go down to the M30 time frame, uh, we can see that actually uh, entering somewhere here would be to enter at the end of this M30 uptrend that started from somewhere here. So um, as I explained in the newsletter, um, I was more inclined to wait for a possible correction on this pair uh, before looking for uh, buy entries instead of just uh, jumping on the market here. And shortly after, you can see that the correction followed, the price re-entered back inside uh, this area. Now at this point, um, we can wait for another break here and then look for an entry or uh, we can look for possible entries at the uh, bottom of this formation again, if the price reaches it on a lower time frame. Uh, there are a few other opportunities, but overall we have to uh, consider a few things. First of it, which is this uh, previous top here. So I can move this here. As this was obviously kind of fake out, the price quickly retraced below it. Or um, also this uh, top is important. So it's better to actually not wait for a break here 
and to look for an entry, but to start looking for an entry down here. Uh, of course, expecting for the price to move further up here and make a new high in the upcoming days. Now, going down to the M30, you can see we had a sort of consolidation again here, uh, which bottom was broken, but the price quickly retraced inside. So, um, an entry here would have been risky. So we'll have to wait for uh, some further development, but overall you can see how the uh, downtrend on M30 uh, is uh, looking at the moment. And um, as you can see, the previous bottom here uh, was broken, confirming that the downtrend will continue at this point, but uh, the price quickly retraced and uh, keeps uh, going up for now. So uh, I would wait for a possible break here of this downtrend M30 channel and uh, maybe we can find a good entry spot somewhere here with the expectations for the price to continue at least to the previous top or even further more but uh, even if it continues to the previous top you can see that uh, there is a lot to win here uh, and less to lose so this is it uh, regarding the usd japanese yen currency uh, pair trading plan check it out uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and of course the little bell button so you get notified uh, when we share uh, more content and don't forget to join us on telegram for live signals based on this plan if you're interested in the newsletter uh, you can find out how to subscribe through our website or you can contact us directly if you need any additional information thank you very much and i wish you a profitable week